Good morning. Good morning. I am bearing in mind what Vicky's just said, how, how pleased are you that we're going to be talking about football after a two week break? <laughs> no, for us it was better that we uh, didn't have an international break because uh, we won three games in a row. But uh, now it's important that we restart the game and uh, because tomorrow we will have a difficult game against Wigan. How have people come back? I mean, we, we heard that Nasri's broken a, a bone in his hand and might yeah. just might be a doubt. Well, what's the situation, Roberto? For Nasri, we don't have a problem because he's not keeper. Uh, for uh, Garrett, uh, has a, a little problem. And uh, I want to see tomorrow, but it's difficult. Nigel uh, can play. We have this problem. Other players uh, will be all available. And, and Micah Richards, has he got a chance? No, no, Micah is, uh, is okay. <laughs> um, we read an awful lot back home in Italy about Mario Balotelli this week. Have you had a chat about some of the things that we've been reading about, whether it's going to a prison or being in Sicily or being in Naples or, or playing on his <laughs> iPad on the bench? Eh? Yeah, you no, know, I spoke with Mario, but. Uh, I'm disappointed because everything that Mario do is a big uh, situation. Uh, I think that uh, Mario, uh, he played well uh, for Italy Tuesday. This is important. It's important that for tomorrow he can play. The other situation is not a problem. Has he got to understand though, that everything he does becomes a big thing and maybe moderate his behaviour? Because of the music. I hope, I hope, but uh, Mario, you, Mario is 21 years old. Uh, he, he can change in uh, two months, three months, or six months. I think that maybe we are right at the moment that he changed uh, his, uh, his mind, he changed everything. We've not seen you since the transfer window. I think people were surprised that Owen Hargreaves moved from Manchester United to Manchester yeah. City. First of all, what was the, what was no. the thinking behind it? I guess it was uh, free was free contract, uh, he was uh, without a uh, team. We, we need, uh, we need uh, a midfielder and uh, we thought that this uh, could be a good, uh, good opportunity for us because Argyris was a fantastic player. He had a big problem in the, in the last two years. I hope that uh, he, he can recover very well, could be for us uh, an important player. And now we have uh, we have, uh, after three games, we have a two midfielder injury. And we have a big problem in this moment. But I think that Argus can play maybe in uh, two weeks, three weeks. How many games do you think you might be able to get out of him this season? I mean, you've not selected him in your Champions League squad. I think that if Argus will be fit in two weeks, I think that he can play always. He has, he's 30 years old, he's young. Was uh, very unlucky in the last two years, maybe. If uh, you can recover very well, I don't think that uh, you can have a big problem. I mean, you've seen him in training. How, how, how fit oh, is he? He's I mean, fit. We, we yeah. Video, he, he training he does uh, this week. Uh, he worked the last week, uh, but I think that he need another another two weeks to work to, to 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 find a good confidence. This is important for him now. Over the, over the last few days, I mean, one of the things that has come to light is, is you have players here who. who are surplus to requirements. They're extra players, the likes of <coughs> Nader Manu, the likes of Wayne Bridge. What, what, are, you, what are your plans for, for them? My plans uh, is this. Uh, Onua uh, stay with us because uh, he's on ground. He knows that uh, it's difficult uh, for him to play often here. Yeah? If we find a good solution for him in these two or three months, or in January maybe, depending on him. Bridge, I think that it's better for him that he we can find a good solution uh, in championship. In terms of the games, you've got a big week. I mean, you obviously got Champions League on Wednesday, your Premier League on Saturday. Have you, have you got to have almost, in your mind, two teams for this? Or? I think that we need to think of uh, one game for time. And uh, now we have a problem because we have a two midfielder injury. It is a big problem in this moment. Uh, but uh, now we want to think uh, about uh, Wigan, because we don't have only two games. We have one month very hard, because we play every three days for one month, at all important games. And for this, it's important that uh, we can recover very quickly Garrett and Nigel. And after, maybe we can, we can change uh, four or five players every game. What have you made of Wigan? I mean, so far they're unbeaten. They've played the, the three sides that came 
into the Premier League? Ah, you, I think that uh, we started the season very well, very well because uh, we played uh, football very well. We want to gain uh, away, Bolton and Tottenham. That I think that is very difficult to to win this game. But the season is is long and that, uh, it's important that we started very well. This. Final question for me. Sir Alex Ferguson the other day said five or six teams could win the Premier League. Do you think it might be smaller than that? Mm. I, I, as my opinion, and I agree with him because uh, in this moment. Uh, City, United, uh, Chelsea, Liverpool, but uh, I think that also Arsenal and Tottenham can, can arrive in the top in the next, the next uh, three or four weeks because they are both good team. Six, I, I, think, I think so, uh, six uh, teams uh, can win uh, Premier League. I know you say looking at one game at a time, but obviously with this Liverpool game on Wednesday, do you think you'll pick your strongest team for one of those two games. I know you say you're going to make a big switch around. Now, we, we should think uh, about winning. <coughs> and after we have uh, four days to recover, to decide uh, the best uh, shape for, for Naples. So you won't leave anybody out on Saturday with a view to them being no. fresh? No. <coughs> no. Roberto, what have you made? So Edin starts the season, obviously the goals are coming for him quite easily, it seems. Edin uh, is a fantastic striker. He scored uh, everywhere. Last year when uh, he arrived here, he had a problem, like all the players that come from the different championship, uh, like they received on the first two months last year. But I'm sure that this year uh, Edin can score a lot of goals for us. He's won the player of the month. What boost do you think that will, will give him in terms of his confidence to build on what's been a great start? Yeah, yeah, but the confidence is important for every player. And uh, he started very well because he was confident, he was sure that he play uh, for this. But it's important for all the players this. You say that Wigan will be a difficult game at the weekend. What have you made to their start to the season? Obviously, like James said, they played the three promoted sides, but they seem to have made a positive start. Yeah, but Wigan, uh, as a, a fantastic manager, we can play football very well, risk uh, always because you want to attack, you want to play, you want to score. For this it's difficult. Uh, every game that we played against Wigan in the past, uh, we had a problem. We won, but we had a problem. For this, if we, we don't have a good concentration, a good attitude, uh, and we think that it will be easy, it will be difficult. It is important that we continue to have the same uh, attitude that we had uh, in the, the first three games. Roberto, um, Nigel's been injured for a few weeks now. How close is he to getting back? I don't know what's happened with Nigel. Nigel has this problem uh, in, under his feet. Uh, is, today is 25 days that he's injured. I don't know when. Uh, I think that he needs another two weeks. You know. Two weeks at, at least? Yeah. Um, is Carlo, will Carlo play tomorrow? Could be, could be, because Carlo uh, trained train well and we need that Carlo find a good confidence. Uh, it's probably. Sorry, Colo, Torre. Ah, um, Carlo, uh, no, Colo. Depends. Is, is, he, is he ready? No, he's fit, he's fit, but he needs to play because it's one year that uh, he not play. How, how has he been during his <laughs> during his? I think. I think that in two weeks you can play. Okay, questions from this. Yeah, I'm yeah. 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 serious. French team. With Gareth. Gareth. Mm, yes, Gareth has a problem in his, uh, in his ankle. Uh, he took a knock uh, during the game, and uh, we want to wait uh, today and tomorrow. And after tomorrow, we decide if he can play or not. One question for French TV. And yeah, the other. Um, there's this debate on Nasri's position in the field. Do you think he's good on the wing or he could be a good playmaker too? And Nasri can play, not keeper because of the problem is uh, in his end, but uh, in other position he can play in every way. What did you think of the last Nasri's game with the French national team? And do you understand why Laurent Blanc is kind of disappointed with him? I don't know, it's not my problem. <laughs>
Uh, I didn't see a France game, but uh, I can say that against Tottenham as really was excellent. Okay, just a last okay. question. Uh, when, Nas when Nasri signed for Manchester City, Laurent Blanc said uh, it would be difficult for him to play a lot. Uh, do, you, do you understand this doubt? Uh, for me, Nasri is a top player. We wanted Nasri for this. Uh, I think that uh, it would be a, it could do a difference in, in the pitch always in every game.